<laughs> what is going on everybody squirrel season has finally opened back up here in oklahoma i came home the other day i was driving around this corner i bet there were eight or ten of them in my yard that doesn't hurt my feelings now because it's been about three months since i've had a pot of dumplings me and old cap here we're fixing to remedy that i'm gonna throw hey, a We're gonna shoot the heck out of them squirrels. We're gonna put a blind up. I moved the squirrel feeder right here because you know all the squirrels were out here in the yard feeding around and you know, give you all a different view from and last Dad, year. And Dad might make gumbo out of it. Make gumbo, we're gonna make dumplings. Anyways, we're gonna get this blind set up. The neighbors, they may think I'm crazy setting a blind up in my, my yard, but probably by now they all know what's going on. Well, so me and old Cap here gonna get this blind set up. And then we got something to show you. We're gonna get on shooting these squirrels. What are we gonna use? Probably gonna use the reverse draw mini striker. What do you think? It's been a long time since I used the reverse draw mini striker to hunt squirrels. We haven't killed some squirrels in a long time since it since it opened up, but now we're fixing to shoot it. We're gonna like, get some squirrels. Let's get this blind put up. We got it all set up. That's a lot of blind for squirrel hunting. Look at him. How's the view in there? good my dad bought this blind last year to deer hunt in before he died he'd be smooth tickled if he knew i had it sitting in my yard shooting squirrels out of it time we went to dad went hey to his there's dad. something i want to show y'all hand me that thing i told you y'all check this out bam i owe that to y'all thanks a lot there is only one thing that i can think to do with this and that is to make a squirrel feeder out of it where this is the front plate and just pin some squirrels right to it what do y'all think would y'all click on a video if i had a squirrel feeder that looked something like that and then we could just pin squirrels right to the plaque i don't know it's not gonna be this video probably the next squirrel hunting video y'all let me know what you think about that idea now we're gonna get everything set up let the squirrels get used to this sitting here it probably won't take them long we're gonna make sure that our uh, mini striker is sided in with the aluminum inserts i want the lighter bolts i want something that's flying fast i had it sided in with the uh stainless steel inserts they're a heavier bolt because we was hog hunting shot a couple exactly. hogs with it every day he hunts squirrels eat his bolts, yeah his but we won't we won't and speed stay alert when he hunts Woo. he just sent clues to him and just shoot a pig and it ran off we couldn't find it ralph was one of his arrows sticking out of side that did happen. We shot a pig just before with another bow and it ran off with the arrow sticking out side and we couldn't find it. But anyways, we're gonna sight the, the mini striker reverse in with the aluminum. The, he didn't lose the, bow. the he aluminum insert lost. arrows because Look they shoot arrow. faster. And then we're gonna get out here and squirrel hunt. We got her done, we got her done. I had to bring those sights down just a little bit. See these, these arrows here with the aluminum tips. They're shooting a little bit higher. I also got these lighter broadheads on there. So the other arrow I had had stainless steel inserts and I was using the Montex, which are way heavier. No worries, no worries. These are just 12 inch hunting arrows with aluminum inserts. Got the little two blade broadhead. We sell it all on the waterswatters.com. Got it sided in, get my camera up. We just getting all geared up. I also put the stock on it. I didn't use the stock when I was hog hunting the other day, but I need the stock because these squirrels, they're just, their vitals are so small. And we're talking, I need pinpoint accuracy to make head shots or if they're hanging little heart shots. I mean, their their hearts can't be no bigger than a pea, but yeah, we ought to be good to go. Let me get all my camera set up and we'll see if squirrel come down this tree. I'm not sure that one's going to be able to go on the internet. Uh. 
Oh. Headshot. He fell off the arrow, but didn't go nowhere. Laying right here by the tree. It wouldn't give me the shot that I wanted. I want him to hang like this, and then I can get a good shot. But, I mean, that bow's accurate enough that I can make a headshot, so I just made a headshot. We'll have to make this one a sponsored video because it cannot be monetized with that much graphic content. Anyways, I got to get this squirrel cleaned quick because it is hot. I'm never going to get that out of that oak tree. Anyways, we'll just leave that there for now. I'm going to get this squirrel clean because it's too hot to leave them sitting and then we'll crawl back off in the blind. Here's where we're at. I broke that arrow trying to get it out of the tree. That's what happens when you shoot an arrow into a solid object like an oak tree. I think that broadhead may permanently be a part of this tree. We'll go ahead and wipe the top of this feeder off. I don't know if another squirrel will come down here with the top of the feeder looking like that. But anyways, my wife said she got dinner cooked. She cooked a roast in the crock pot. So I'm gonna get in there. I'm gonna eat dinner. And then if I still have enough light left, I'm gonna come out here and uh, try to shoot some more. If not, I'll get back in the morning because that's one. And y'all that have been following the channel for a while, maybe you could leave down in the comments, how many squirrels does it take to make a pot of dumplings? Oh, I've been working at it and I got it. Yes, here's what's left of my arrow. All right, now I'm gonna go eat dinner. That was bugging me. Oh, I am back after them. Oh, there goes one up the tree right there. Oh, there's another one on the feeder. Can you see him over there? I'm going to get in the blind. It makes for a better video. It's not actually the same day. There's another one in the yard. Good grief they're everywhere. It's going to be a good day for it. It's a couple days later. I didn't get back out after dinner, and uh, it rained the next two days, so. Let me get off in this blind before I scare every squirrel in the yard off. He's already back on the feeder and I ain't got my bow cocked yet. Just went straight with the headshot. Didn't even wait for him to roll down. There's two more up that tree, so I'm gonna go jerk that one off the feeder real quick. See if we can get another one. Three's what I'm looking for. These here are young squirrels. I'll probably just fry them up. We probably won't put them in dumplings. There's another one up there. He's on to my skeins. He's barking and running circles around the tree. We'll give him a minute to come down, but the mosquitoes are thick in here, boy. About to have to go get me some bugs for it. Well, that was the hanging shot I was looking for, but I don't know. He fell off the arrow. He ran around the tree. He just landed right there, see? Right there. Let's go fetch him. I think I'm going to call it. I'm running out of hands to grab everything. Hold on. There we go. There we go. That's two for the day. Like I said, these are young squirrels. I'll probably just break them down and throw them in the cast iron skillet and fry them up. They'll be tender. Anyways, I really like the accuracy of these little bows. I think we tell archery selling them in hunting kits now where you get, I don't know, I'd have to look, all kinds of stuff. 
uh, the arrows, the 12 inch arrows we sell on our website. I think they may sell them on theirs. These are the aluminum insert ones. Uh, I'm gonna get these squirrels clean. I appreciate y'all watching. We're gonna save a few of them for that uh, 100K plaque feeder. We're gonna, we're gonna make a feeder out of that and pin some squirrels right to that feeder. So, hey, I appreciate y'all watching, sticking with me. That's all I have for today. We'll catch you next time.